There are weighty arguments to be adduced in favor of the ether hypothesis. To deny the ether is ultimately to assume that empty space has no physical qualities whatsoever. The fundamental facts of mechanics do not harmonize with this view. According to the general theory of relativity, space is endowed with physical qualities. In this sense, therefore, there exists an ether. According to the general theory of relativity, space without ether is unthinkable. In this theory, Newton's apple does not fall to the ground because of the downward force of gravity, but because of the upward momentum of electromagnetic radiation or light. This dynamic process can be represented mathematically with electromagnetism and gravity sharing the inverse square law representing the geometry of this universal process with gravitation being a secondary force to electromagnetism. Every action creates a reaction and the inward force of gravity is the reaction of the outward momentum of photon energy as a process of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation. Photon energy slows the rate that time flows as a process of continuous creation relative to the energy and momentum of each object or life form. Mass will increase relative to this with the time dilation of Einstein's relativity being part of this universal process. In such a theory it would be easy to think of electromagnetism as a dynamic ether that moves relative to the earth. Therefore it would not show up in any experiment that was relative to the movement of the earth. This could also explain why scientists have found an axis in the cosmic microwave background radiation that runs back through space and time that is relative to the elliptical plane of our solar system and the local group of galaxies that include the Milky Way galaxy. In my other videos I explain how this can be a universal process of energy exchange that is relative to the different structures that the atoms form with different phase changes in matter changing how the process unfolds at different temperatures. We can see this at very low temperature with superconductivity with magnetic field lines locking together with gravity disappearing in the reference frame of the experiment. We have a phase change at the temperature of everyday life with the process being relative to the atoms of the periodic table with the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. At high temperatures we have another phase change with the process unfolding on much larger scales in the form of plasma with charge being able to cover a large area of interstellar space. This theory of continuous energy exchange that is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light with each photon oscillation or vibration only occurring once forming the movement of charge and continuous flow of electromagnetic fields that in turn forms the potential for the ever-changing world of our everyday life forming what we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time thanks for watching please share and subscribe it will help the promotion of this theory